Surprise, surprise, Quinnipiac women's basketball with a victory to open up their MAC tournament in 2019. He's Shane Dennehy. I'm Brian Schwartz, and welcome to The Rebound. And Shane, this team just does it year in and year out. I really, it, it's so impressive, right? It really is. I mean, 50 straight MAC game, 50, stri 50 straight wins in a row in conference play, regular season and postseason for Quinnipiac. It's just an unreal thing to do, just to constantly get every single team's best shot and to constantly be able to handle it with such ease is absolutely incredible. Their offense got them off to a hot start. 12-0 run, which is really something that they've struggled with. Their offense has been getting off to slow starts. Their defense has really kept them in games and gotten them back into games. And then their defense took over and just carried them throughout this game. And they just they do it with such effort and ease. And I really like Trisha Fabry speaking after the game, just like her mentality, get up. She stay out of the way of her team this year and just it speaks volumes to how much experience they have with the five seniors and every class the juniors below that they've experienced three MAC championships the sophomores two and now the freshman one experienced their first so it's just such a winning culture here and they've just been able to handle it with ease. You talk about the five seniors obviously they are leaders on this team and they're looking to help the younger players on this team really develop that leadership role as well heading into next year so this is big for them to kind of pass down the torch. It is and like I said like They've experienced three MAC championships. They've been to the NCAA tournament three times, the Sweet 16 their freshman year. So they know what it takes. They've experienced it, and they want to handle that as well. And Taylor Hurd, when we were talking to her after the game, she said that she, you know, they expect that she needs to step up as a leader too, and she has been doing that as she was named sixth player of the year this year. You know, there's, they need to take over next year, and this, it starts right now here in Albany. And, you know, they need to play a bit of a role like Paige Warfel and Taylor Hurd, which they have done so far this season, and it's only going to progress so f going forward. A day off on Saturday, and then Sunday is the semifinal game. Quinnipiac will play the winner of Monmouth and Canisius. What do they need to do to get a win there? They just need to be themselves. You know, they trust it. They they know what it's like to be here in March. They know it's one game at a time. One game at a time mentality. It's winner go home for them, and they know they're going to get whatever team's best shot. And but they, they've proven all the time that they can handle the competition, and I think they're going to be able to handle it again. They just, they just got to believe in themselves, trust it, and it'll work out for them. Semifinal game will be Sunday afternoon. He's Shane Dennehy. I'm Brian Schwartz. Check out all our content at Q30TV.com.